Today, uh, I'm going to talk about the concept of power, right? So let us begin. Power, kya hoti hai? Hum ispe baat karenge. Aur hum ispe kuch questions karenge, right? Theek hai. Achha, see, what is power? You should know that that power is defined as as the rate of work done. Or the rate of energy conversion. Okay, power is defined as the rate of work done or the rate of energy conversion. We can write here power as work done over time. And we can also write here power as F into S over T. This power can be then written as F into S. I can write it. F into S over T. What is S? Displacement. And what is F? The force. And uh, T is the time. And we can write here power as force into velocity power is equal to fv right p is equal to fv this is one formula that you have this is a formula that is uh, very important uh, and it has been there in the many questions as you'll see you can also say power as energy over time and we can write here power as mg delta h over t. This is the same as the power ko half mv square over t. And you can write the same as average power. Average power is mgh plus half mv square over t. And you can write here average power as. E P plus E K over T. Okay, see? The SI unit for power is is what? And you should know that one watt is equal to one joule per second. One watt is equal to one joule per second, right? Let's do a couple of questions before we move towards efficiency. I'm going to show you how you can figure out how to do this. Okay, Sprinter 15, paper 1, 3. Question number 17. So you have been given, sir, yes, sir, oh, yes. Ha, ha, we are kinetical gravitational potential energy ko dekh rahe hai pe, is case. Mein. Is case, we are only kinetical gravitational potential energy. Ko dekh rahe hai, kya aapne object ko lift kiya, uske we are chemical energy. We are formula nahi ban koi, right? Aapne chemical energy provide kar di, to kar di. Okay, mechanical energy. Ko dekh rahe hai. Achha, ji, you have here. An object of weight 15 Newton is pulled along the horizontal surface at constant velocity of 2. The force pulling the object is 12 Newton at 30 degrees to the horizontal. What is the power used to move the object? If you look closely here, yes. You know that power is given as Fv, but you have to make sure that the force is in the direction of the velocity. So here the velocity is 2 and the force is 12 cosine of 30. So you write here 12 cosine of 30 into 2 and you'll get the answer as 20.8 watts. 
you have a force diagram which shows an aircraft which is accelerating and this will show the velocity of the aircraft is 40 at which rate is its kinetic energy increasing what you'll do is this is going to be 500 200 to increase over resultant force of 300 kilo newton right or 300 kilo newton ka matlab hai 300 into 10 raised to power 3 so aap agar 40 se multiply kar denge to aapka answer 12 megawatt aa jayega and we'll, once you do it you get the answer as 12 megawatt that's the efficiency i have a machine here and uh, I give some energy to the machine. This is the total input energy that I give to the machine. Some of the energy is wasted. This is wasted output energy. It is lost as lost as friction or heat loss to the surroundings and you have some of that as useful output energy mm. so total energy Input is given by the useful energy output. Useful energy output plus wasted energy output. A very important equation. The total energy input of Kipas ka Yahape kya hai wo hai 100 joules. Job input energy there. हो हो, 70% useful हो, 70 useful हो, हो 30 जो है wasted हो, तो efficiency क्या होती है? ये आपने O level में भी पढ़ा हुआ है, efficiency is इसका symbol है, अगर आप इसको नजर आएगा आपको पे लगाएं, this is रोड़त नहीं है symbol की, but this is how efficiency is, efficiency is useful energy output over total energy input this is what we call the efficiency and this lies between 0 and 1 100% efficient is 100% efficient 0 pe efficiency nahi hogi acha ji if we talk about the percentage efficiency what about the percentage efficiency that is useful energy output over <laughs> Total input energy multiplied, you get what you get the percentage efficiency rate. So this is n percentage is greater than zero percent and less than equal to hundred percent. Is that clear? Think it enough. As I see, the same power may be a cheese. You have a machine here. And uh, for example, we have here the total input power. Some of the power is wasted. We call that wasted output power. Some of that is useful output power. And again, we have the same. Uh, scenario that total input power is given by useful output power plus wasted output power. And we can write here up uh, again useful Nikala Jatia, the useful case in the Ganga total is wasted minus content. Yet to support that. So you can write here useful output power as total input power minus wasted output power. 
if you want to calculate the efficiency, the efficiency is given by useful output power over total input power. And this lies between zero and one. And if you want to calculate the percentage efficiency, what is that? Useful output power over total input power multiplied by 100. That will give you the percentage. So this, this is what you have. That is the end of your chapter. But the questions are really interesting. SLG is the question is, you have been shown a hydraulic ramp and you have been given that it holds a 500 kilogram of water. There is a wall and the kinetic energy of this water is used to lift a small quantity of water by height, 15 meters. Now you need to know efficiency of 10% of the efficiency. Okay, what is the kinetic energy from here? And उसको उठा रही है पानी को as mgh और ये आपके पास useful output energy है जो उसको उठा रही है ठीक है so we can write here half mv square mass is 500 the velocity is 2 square this gives you 1000 joules as a total input energy and mgh is mass into 9.81 into height which is 15 over 1000 into 100. Dekhe, useful over total input into 100 is equal to 10. 10% 10 efficiency. So, what is the answer? 0.68. Achha, ji, if you look closely, B, you have a constant force F, as you can see here. And uh, it's acting on the mass of car M. The car moves through a slope, right? There's this S here, and uh, it's moving at a constant velocity V. The angle of the slope to the horizontal is alpha, as you can see here. And they've asked you to calculate the efficiency. Now, efficiency is, efficiency is what? That is the useful uh, output over total input. If you talk useful output, ki baat kare, so aapke paas, isne height jo gain ki hai, wo kitni ki hai? this is M, right? This is alpha. This is alpha. This is alpha. This is so, you can see that this height is as S into sine of alpha. This height is S sine of alpha. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, if you have a word, then you can see that the work done वो आपके पास होता है ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी में उसने हाइट गेन की है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी व्हाट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी दिस mg into s sin of alpha क्योंकि आपके पास हाइट ये थी वेट mg था उसने हाइट जो गेन की वो आपके पास थी s sin of alpha सो so, mg s into sin of alpha आपके पास चेंज इन ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी आ गया डिवाइड बाय दिस फोर्स इनटू डिस्प्लेसमेंट s so you have F into S here. This is the work done. That is provided by the engine. This S is going to cancel with this S and you get what you get Mg sine alpha over F. C is the answer. 